In this tutorial, we are going to learn to use the Wayne County Register of Deeds free online search. It is a good source of information if you are hoping to confirm the ownership of a property and to find out more details about the deed, land contract, or mortgage. We'll begin our search by typing in the web address waynecountylandrecords.com. You'll notice that on the left hand of the screen, there is a search option for those that don't have an account. There is also a pay for search option for those that do. Today, we'll look at the, we'll look at the free search option by clicking Search Real Estate Index. The major drawback of this free search is that you cannot search by address. You'll have to start with either the name of the grantor or the grantee. You can also refine your search by searching for a specific document type. Generally, a grantor is the person or entity selling a property, while a grantee is the person or entity buying the property. For this tutorial, we'll take the name of a company, Joshko Properties, and click Search. As you can see, a lot of documents appear. The Wayne County Register of Deeds records over a half a million documents each year, and that includes liens, mortgages, deeds, and land contracts. Be sure to take note of the number of records currently being displayed on the screen. Right now, we're looking at 17 out of a total of 17 records. For searches that bring up over 200 documents, you'll have to click Get Full Count to view all the documents. That will be located here. All of the documents currently being displayed have the entity Joshko Properties listed as either the grantor or the grantee, but the list can be overwhelming. One way to organize the document is by date. If you click the reception date column header here, and if you click it twice, that's once, and we'll hit it twice. By clicking it twice, it'll bring up the documents that were most recently recorded with the Register of Deeds at the top of the list. If you're looking for a specific property, here's a tip. Use your Command key and F key at the same time to bring up the search feature. Today, we'll look up the specific property 16211 Manning. If we hit highlight all, we can see that we can then see all of the highlighted instances where 16211 Manning has a document recorded with the Register of Deeds. You'll notice that there's a certificate of forfeiture that was recorded in March of 2011. If we scroll down a little bit further, we'll see that there's a deed for 16211 Manning that was recorded in January of 2009. To find out more information about this deed, we can click the instrument, num instrument number link here. The screen now displays the detailed information about the deed and the property itself. One important thing to note is the tax ID of the property. This can be helpful when continuing re your research on the property with other search engines. Also notice that the LIBOR number and instrument number are listed as well. These can be helpful when you're hoping to view the actual deed document that is located at the Register of Deeds office downtown. We can see that there are several entities listed as the grantor, including a bank. You'll also notice that Joshko Properties is listed as the grantee. Joshko Properties is our best guess as to who is the current and rightful owner of the property. We can also see that Joshko Properties bought the property for a consideration amount of $8,500. Before leaving this document detail screen, you should note if there is a return, returnee address listed. Most often, this is the contact information of the attorney for the grantee, but it can also serve as one more point of contact when trying to get a property owner to take care of their vacant property. And that is how you can take advantage of the free online search provided by the Wayne County Register of Deeds.
If you plan on searching for properties on a regular basis, you might consider setting up an account. You can do that by going to the Wayne County Register of Deeds homepage and then clicking On Demand Account Sign Up. In this tutorial, we learned how to verify that Joshko Properties has the last deed on record for an address using the Wayne County Register of Deeds free online search. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to obtain contact information for Joshko Properties using the State of Michigan's Business Entity Search. You can find that next tutorial on CLR's YouTube page.